All right, in this video, we're going to be working on an iPad Pro A1673. It came in for no power and customer needs his data. Customer is only concerned about his data and not the actual tablet. And I'll let you know what I did so far, but let's read what the customer wrote before we proceed with the repair. Issue is, we have some very important pictures on the iPad of family members that passed. iPad was never backed up, screen is broken, but not looking to fix the iPad. Data recovery. So customer is only interested in data recovery and not fixing the tablet. His screen is broken. Watch a video of you repairing the TriStar chip, but not sure if that's what's bad on the logic board. The TriStar chip was actually bad on the board and I replaced the chip. I did not make a video on it because we have a lot of videos on replacing the TriStar chip. But let me show you what I did. I replaced the TriStar chip, which is right here. The tablet failed for TriStar. We tested using a TriStar tester, it failed. We replaced the chip and now the charging circuit is working properly. We get a pass when we test using the TriStar tester. But the tablet is currently charging at 0 0.48 amps and not 0 0.96 amps like it should. So there's something going on with the board. Based on my experience, a 0 0.5 amp draw is likely an indication of a short on the tablet. That's based on my experience. The tablet should be charging at 0 0.96, 0 0.98. Anytime we see 0 0.48, 0 0.47, 0 0.50 amp draw, it's likely a short on the board. So the TriStar chip partially fixed the issue of the charging circuit but the tablet is still not powering on. Right now what I want to do is plug power onto the tablet and we're going to monitor the tablet under a thermal cam to see if we can figure out where that short is coming from. I have a lot of videos where we work on tablets that charge at 0 0.47 amps, 0 0.48 amps, and every single one of them is a shorted capacitor on the board. We do not know if the same holds for this tablet, but we're going to find out. What we're going to do now is we're going to plug the charging cable and I already have the power supply set at 5 volts. We can monitor amps being drawn by looking at the power supply screen here, or we can look at our amp meter. Today I'm using a power supply and not the power bank because I place the power supply here. It's an easy access. So let's plug. Let me turn the power supply off first. Plug the charging cable. Thermal camera on. And we're going to monitor the board under the thermal cam to see what gets hot. Now, like I said, I already changed the TriStar chip and TriStar is passing now. The charging IC is passing and we do not have any issues with the charging circuit. But the tablet is drawing 0 0.5 amps or 0 0.49 amps. That's an indication that we have a short. And how do I know that 0 0.49 amps being drawn or 0 0.50 is an indication of a short? I know from experience because every time I work on an iPad where it's charging at 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, it's almost always almost always a short. Not almost always, it's always a short. And you can check previous videos that I've done working on iPads with a short. So right now I'm almost positive that we have a short on the board, but we're going to have to check it to confirm. I have my thermal camera here pointing at the board. And let's go ahead and turn the power supply on. And look at that. We see two big heat spots and we see one tiny heat spot right there. From my experience, it's that tiny heat spot that causes the heat on those two ICs. A short here is what causes a big short here. And that's based on my experience. I mean, if we use logic, we go and check on those ICs. Why are those heating up? But because I've done so many iPads with a short issue, I know it's the small guy that causes the problem on the big guys. So we want to point the tweezers just over those components and we're going to go under the microscope and see what those components are. Right there. So it's either this or this. My tweezer was pointing on those components. It was pointing right there. We do not know if it's this one or this one. Let me take a look at the thermal camera again to see if we can pinpoint where that heat is coming from. Let's try one more time. Maybe I can zoom in with my thermal camera. There's a zoom in option that we can use. 
and maybe we can go to manual mode increase the temperature boundaries I'm holding the thermal camera with my hand so with the zoomed in option it seems a bit shaky right there okay so let's see where is my tweezer pointing it's pointing right there so since twice the tweezer pointed at this component. Let's start by removing this component. Disconnect power, the cable. I already have the battery disconnected. So let's start with this component. Those are bypass capacitors. They do not affect the functionality of the tablet. And all of those capacitors, most of them are connected in parallel. So it doesn't matter if we remove one, two, three, four, or even 10 capacitors, the tablet will still function. And right now the customer is interested in data recovery. So we broke this one off. Fly away to the ninth dimension. We do not care. And let's see, do we still have a short? I mean, honestly, I forgot to test for a short on those two caps, but heat in this area is an indication of a short. And right now, I want to test for a short after removing that cap. And the short is gone. We do not have a short anymore. Let's go under the thermal camera again and check. Zoom 1x. Now we can see the whole board. And now if we turn the power supply on, will we see those two big spots, heat spots, and the tiny one? Pointing to the capacitors, let's see. One, two, three. And now we see nothing. Look at this. Now the CPU is turning on. <laughs> you see? The two big spots that were initially heating up, they were right there. And the capacitor that we removed was on top here. Look at this. That's one beautiful scene. One beautiful, healthy scene. That's a healthy motherboard. So right now I'm gonna use the power bank so I can show you the meter up close. And <laughs> look at this. 0 0.95 amps being drawn by the tablet. That's a healthy charge, 0 0.95 amps or 0 0.96 amps. Tablet's fixed. The problem is fixed. So now all we have to do is try the customer screen and the customer did mention that his screen is broken and he does not want to fix it, but he's interested in his data recovery only. Let me connect the screen quick so we can test and make sure the tablet is working and we're going to proceed with data recovery. Screen is connected. And right there, <laughs> right there, fixed. Awesome. That's gonna be awesome news to the customer. And he's not gonna lose his family pictures. Let's wait, make sure it boots up. And right there, <laughs> right there. Is touch working? Touch is working. Great. Great. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.